All right, quick video for you guys on a how-to DIY, or I guess in this case, I'm just doing a quick inspection of this roof here, but I came across something here I want to show you. Might give a little insight and info, a little tip on somebody doing their roof on how to do this or not to oversee this and forget to do this. It's pretty important, and it's going to be called a kick-out. Different roof sections may tie into a wall differently, but this is where a shingle roof goes into a wall and the wall continues down. You see? Kick outs, why they're important. First off, this wall has flashing, doesn't matter, you know, different types of flashing. This one actually has step flashing. I'm, yeah, step. So shingle step, shingle step like that. The issue you get going on here is water coming down this wall over time is going up under this wood. The flashing does not kick out. So it's going to continue going on. And by the way, there are various uh, things that can mean more or less water, like the size of your overhang up above. That's just one foot. Rain blowing, hitting the wall, running down. Just the more water you have at the wall here, the bigger the issue will be. But what's going on is water coming down the flashing. Well, that last piece of flashing is behind this. There's no kick out here. Talk about a kick out real quick. The kick out, when it gets to that last piece of a kick out, or whatever piece is acting as a kick out, runs the water out from the siding area and down off the roof. In this case, into the gutter. What's going on in the water behind this, not kicking out, is being trapped behind the siding. In this case, this looks like a rough cut cedar, or no, actually it's probably a two by four cut with an angle here. So water running down drips out and off, but it's thick. It's fairly thick here. And water coming in behind it is staying behind here. Well, the problem you run into and what you got going on here at this one is it is completely rotted. This wall is rotted here. And it's not just a little piece, it's the whole thing all the way down right here. You got paint flaking off of it. It's soft. The only thing holding this together right now is the paint itself. See, it's rotted. So, so is the wood paneling behind here. I imagine, I hope, there is a piece of subsiding behind this. Don't know for sure. I imagine there's siding or insulation in there, a subsiding, and then this paneling. Whatever the case may be, you may not notice a leak inside your house because it's running down this panel on the inside. It's going to typically follow the path of least resistance. It could hit a top seal plate if it was low enough, could potentially get into the home. Chances are it's on the outside of your wall plate, your seal plate right here, top seal plate. And it's just going down the subsiding, in between the subsiding and siding itself. doesn't matter if it's vinyl or what, even brick in this case, if you have a brick outer if your home wasn't wrapped or whatever, it's going to be falling out on the inside. This is now a much bigger repair, a little more time involved here, a little more cost to get all this removed and fixed. It looks like this roof has been up here for a little while. I'm just here doing a quick inspection of the roof and wanted to point this out. So if we were to say do this roof or you or you're up against something like this getting ready to do your roof, a kick out, just a simple piece of flashing, step flashing, maybe 20, 30 cents at the time of this video right now, Independence Weekend here. Happy 4th, by the way. Um, remove the roof, leave the flashing. There's one piece of flashing down here. That'd be fine. I would actually leave this, put your new starter row under, pin this down. Take a piece of step flashing, typically taller this way, whether you bend it and trim it or turn it and then fold it up so you got a shorter distance. Get a little screwdriver or something, a notch, a channel up here. Just a little bit, doesn't need to be much. Enough to get a piece of flashing shoved in. Work it up under and behind this piece of flashing right here. Then put your shingle down. Then it will tuck up under that piece of flashing there. And you continue shingle step, shingle step all the way up. When the water comes down at that point, it comes off of your last piece of full step flash. Hits the makeshift kick out. And it has nowhere to go but follow the bend that you've got coming out this way essentially. Diverting the water out off your roof and your gutter hopefully if you have a gutter more importantly it is keeping it away from behind your wall back here that's the whole point of a kick out so you don't have issues like this now you got moisture you got rot you could have termites if they're in your area you got wood source you got moisture two things termites need moisture just wood just really needs moisture and it's going to cause this issue keep the water outside use kick outs if you got a little good uh, information out of the video, please give it a thumbs up. We do this for you guys, so please do that for us. And until next time, be safe. Have a happy, safe 4th of July, and we'll see you on the next one.